The town that I chose for my community assessment is Buxton, Maine. This is the town that I grew up in, and although I have lived here for 21 years, I do not know extensive amounts of information about it, and I wanted to learn more. Buxton is a small rural town located in southern Maine. It is part of York County and is bounded by the towns of Gorham, Scarborough, Saco, Dayton, Hollis, and Standish. The current boundaries of Buxton were granted by the General Court in 1728 for the Narragansett Army that fought against the Narragansett Indians in the war. It took several years for, to establish a true settlement in the town because originally it was covered by a dense forest. The Salmon Falls area in West Buxton was developed first and became a thriving village. The first industry included sawmills and gristmills along the Saco River. By the 1800s, Buxton had several sawmills, tanneries, blacksmiths, grocery stores, clothing stores, and many farms, and by the 1850s, the railroad had made its way to Buxton. Buxton is a fairly rural community. In some areas, you will observe a very serene environment consisting of densely wooded areas, houses, farmlands, and in the central areas, you will observe more ve vehicular traffic. However, it is still fairly calm compared to the city. There are schools, public parks, and grocery stores. During the spring and summer months, the public parks and fields are filled with recreational sports teams and kids playing on the playgrounds. During the winter, when the snow has fallen, there are often people seen sledding down hills at the parks and in the, at the schools. There are, very, there are very few people seen walking down the street, except in neighborhoods because there are no sidewalks. Here pictured, you can see the welcome sign to Buxton. And here are two of the main roads um, in the, this is in the center of Buxton. You can see we recently have um, built a Hannaford supermarket. And this last picture um, I took off of the internet and I really like it because it shows um, one of the more rural areas with a large piece of farmland. And actually on the back border of this picture you can see the town in which I, I mean the road which I live on. My assessment of the population, so the size of Buxton is 8,149 people according to the 2006 reported data. That uh, concludes a density of 201 people per square mile. The population is composed of 4,113 males and 4,060 females with a median age of 43.4 years old. Out of those 8,149 people, 4,231 4, of them are married, and 1,287 of them are divorced. The culture in Maine is primarily white Americans, with 7,674 of the population. Um, that is followed by 212 people who claim to be Hispanic, 196 who claim to be African American and 45 who claim to be Asian American. Here in Maine, there's a growing immigrant and asylum program that are seeking life in our community. The social class in Buxton has a mean uh, household income of $60,483. $60, However, there are 871 people living below the poverty line. In this portion of the assessment of the population, I could only find data um, from 2000, so it's a little bit different from the previous slide, which had data from 2016. So in Buxton, there are 197 people with a less than ninth grade education. However, there are 2,060 people in the population who have are high school graduates, and this assesses people only above 25 years old. Um, there are 1,020 people who have gotten to some college, but a th over a 1,000 people with either an associate's or bachelor's degree and 215 with a graduate degree. The mobility in Buxton is fairly low. There are only 425 rental properties and 2,379 owned homes. So this tells me that the people who live here come here and stay and don't plan on moving. Um, Occupation-wise, um, this assessed um, people 16 years and older. 
there are 4,337 people employed in Maine, and there are 87 people un unemployed, which, although that sounds like a small number, it is actually 15% of the population. Uh, the most popular job in Maine is either management or professional work with 1,248 people. However, there are other jobs in service, sales and office, farming, fishing, construction, trans and transportation. In um, assessing the morbidity and mortality, I couldn't find any data specific to Buxton, Maine, but I found data reported um, by Maine on the morbidity statistics, and I was especially surprised by the rates of uh, sexually transmitted infections such as gonorrhea and chlamydia. Um, there's a three, there are 3,546 reported cases of chlamydia in Maine in 2016 and 335 cases of gonorrhea. This tells me that um, Maine hasn't done a very great job at providing sex education to its people and that people aren't um, having safe sex and are transmitting sexually transmitted infections. Um, for the mortality data, um, I was only able to find New England reported data, but so far for 2016, um, there are more, the mortality rate from pneumonia and influenza is 2,462 people. In my assessment of systems, the family in Buxton is composed of, um, or the households in Buxton are 68% family households, um, the average size being 2.45 people per household. There is 24.3% of the population that are married with children and 16.9% of the population that are single with, ch with children. For education, there are two elementary schools housed within Buxton, one pictured here on the right of the screen, which is uh, was newly constructed. It's called Buxton Center Elementary School, and the other is um, Jack Memorial Elementary School. There's also a middle school and a high school just over the border of Buxton in Standish, Maine. In Buxton, our economy isn't um, thriving so well. We have a 15% unemployment rate, as I said before, and there are 800 and 71 people living below the poverty line. In religion, um, there are three three churches in Buxton, one Baptist church, one community church, and believe it or not, the first Hindu temple of Maine was founded in Buxton just two years ago, and that's pictured here on the right of the screen as well. For communication in Buxton, uh, a lot of the communication is carried out through technology, um, in the news and uh, just through telephones and uh, email communication, but there is also a Buxton news website available which uh, posts the recent news um, that is occurring in Buxton. Political and government wise, um, Buxton elects town selectmen who rep uh, represent the Buxton people at a state and national level, and there are also town meetings held every month to discuss issues that are going on within the town, and anyone is uh, able to go to these town meetings. Uh, Recreational-wise, Buxton has six town parks that are open from dawn until dusk, and there's also the Buxton Recreational Department, which has been huge for our town. They offer um, summer rec programs, uh, uh, after school and before school programs, as well as um, adult education programs where they offer classes such as Tai Chi. They have sports programs for children and adults, and um, it's really a big asset to our town. In my assessment of healthcare systems, in Buxton there is one primary care office and there is one walk-in clinic called the Levitt Mills um, health center and this is actually a free health center that is run um, on donation run by donation and is available to the um, people of Buxton and surrounding towns that don't have health insurance and can't afford health care um, they provide just very basic primary care to these people um, there are two uh, 
EMS departments and fire departments in Buxton. However, there are no hospitals, um, and the ride by EMS to either Maine Medical Center, Mercy, or Central Maine Medical Center is a 30-minute ride. And Maine Medical Center is about 30 minutes away and has a level one trauma center. So um, some strengths of this community, we have a healthcare clinic that is free, which is an amazing asset for us um, since there is such a high unemployment rate and there are 871 people living below the poverty line. It's great that we're able to offer healthcare to those who may not be able to afford it. Um, we also have a primary care office right within the town, so that's great for people who may not have transportation to get to appointments and things like that. And we also have, like I mentioned before, the Buxton Recreational Center uh, program, I'm sorry, that is providing a lot for our community. This for this community is health prog problem of ineffective sex education among the population of Maine, including Buxton, related to unprotected sex as evidenced by reported data regarding sexually transmitted diseases such as chlamydia and gonorrhea within the community. Some uh, interventions that I came up with to um, help improve or to change this diagnosis um, are I will implement a um, it would be to implement at the population level a standardized sex education program that would be used to educate members of the community in both middle and high school and would be offered to adults within the community uh, as an adult education program. It would include six weeks of class which would occur um, which each class would occur two times per week. In the beginning of the course, there would be a pretest to assess the level of knowledge surrounding safe sex, safe sex practices and another test um, at the end of the course to assess uh, whether or not their knowledge base had increased. Another intervention would be uh, books to provide books and online resources about the causes of transmit sexually transmitted infections and how to prevent them from being transmitted. These resources would be available within the school and in the public library as well as online so that anyone within the community could access them. Lastly, the class would be available um, to everyone in the community so that there would be no one left out um, from this educational opportunity. I would evaluate the effectiveness of my interventions by creating a pre and post test as I had said um, to assess whether or not their level of understanding surrounding the topic had increased after attending the class. Um, this program will be in implemented with the goal that um, the community of Buxton would reduce the occurrence of sexually transmitted diseases by 25% within 10 years, which is the next time that um, data regarding morbidity and mortality will be reported for Buxton. And that concludes my presentation. Thank you so much for listening.